जय श्री कृष्ण नमस्ते माय डियर व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय कला आराधना यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई हैव डन द ड्राइंग एंड पेंटिंग ऑफ राघवेंद्र स्वामी जी इज लाइफ हिस्ट्री देयर आर मेनी इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट्स अबाउट राघवेंद्र स्वामी जी बाय शोइंग यू द पिक्स ऑफ माय ड्राइंग एंड पेंटिंग लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट राघवेंद्र स्वामी जी इज लाइफ हिस्ट्री कम लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो श्री गुरु राघवेंद्र स्वामी जी इज अ सेंट फ्रॉम साउथ इंडिया Let us first understand what Raghavendra means. In Sanskrit, Raghavendra means Lord Rama. When we chant the name of Guru Raghavendra, we are calling Supreme God Narayana and the great saint Guru Raghavendra Swami ji. Raghu was a celestial being called Shankarna in his previous birth. Shankarna's incarnations are Prahlada, Balhika, Vyasaraja, Guru Raghavendra Swami ji. Guru Raghavendra loves his devotees a lot and shares his blessings all the time. He was the follower of Dvaita philosophy. Whenever devotees makes mistakes, he is always there to correct and guide the devotees. Hence, devotees always go to him. He is the kindest sage who shares his blessings irrespective of religion, caste, creed and race. Raghu was born as Timanabatta and Gopikamba's baby in the year 1595 AD. He was named as Venkatanatha as he was the boon of Lord Venkateshwara Swami. Later, Timanabatta went to live with Sudindra Tirtharu in Kumbakonam. As soon as Sudindra Tirtharu saw Venkatanatha for the first time, he had a divine vision and realized immediately that this child is going to be his successor. Venkatanatha was very intelligent and knowledgeable. Venkatanatha also thought what he had learned to his students and spent good time in kumbakonam once a miracle happened before venkatnatha took sanyasa once the couple along with their son went to a nearby mat for puja and prasadam raidu was given the task of preparing sandalwood paste by the mat assistants raidu prepared it but while preparing he was chanting the agni sukta hymns in the praise of fire god The paste was given to the devotees who applied it on their body. Soon everyone could feel the burning sensation. It was very very surprising because sandalwood paste is usually used to cool the body. They called the Venkatanatha who gave them the reason of mentioning about the Agni Sukta. The pontiff realized that the burning was because of powerful chanting of hymns by the great Venkatanatha to cure the burning sensation. Venkatanatha chanted the Varuna Sukta hymns in the praise of water god and prepared the sandalwood paste again the devotees felt better after applying it this time this miracle demonstrated the focus and concentration and divinity of Raidu because just by chanting hymns he could bring about so much of changes Venkatanatha was also an expert debater He would accompany his guru to different pilgrimages and learning centers. Once there was a seminar in Dakshina Dwarka about Jiva over Parabrahma. Venkatanatha participated in this debate by making arguments based on the Mahabhashya. He defeated the principal orator of the seminar. Hence he gained the name Mahabhashya Venkatanatha. Venkatanatha took sanyasa Shri Sudindra Tirtha Swami ji performed all the rituals of Patta Visheka to Venkatanatha as per Sudindra Tirtha Swami ji's dream he named Venkatanatha as Shri Raghavendra Tirtha Raghavendra Swami ji sings hymns in the praise of Lord with love one of his composition is Hindu yanage go ninnay paada ravindava toro mukundane mukundane in praise of lord mukunda which rairu sang in udupi lord krishna gave darshana to raghavendra swami ji in udupi raghavendra swami ji wrote a commentary on chandrika called prakasha He also wrote Nyaya Muktavali, Tantra Deepika, and Parimala Granthas. The Nawab of Adoni, named Siti Masud Khan, was not convinced about Rai Ru's powers. 
ordered his servants to get a plate of meat and cover it with a silk cloth. The servants did the same and kept it in front of Rairu. Rairu, with his divine powers, knew exactly what was happening. He sprinkled the holy water on the plate containing the meat and removed the cloth on the plate. And everyone saw that meat in the plate has turned into flowers. This was the power of Rairu. The Nawab was shocked and prostrated in front of Rairu and asked him to pardon. Rairu, who is the kindest, pardoned the Nawab. Once, Rairu came to Desai's house and started the puja. At the same time, the chefs were preparing the food. They had prepared a very huge vessel full of mango sikarni, mango pulp mixed with milk and sugar. Desai's son was a bit mischievous, curious and was also hungry. He tried to jump and look into the vessel and accidentally slipped into the vessel, drowned. Rairu with his divine power understood what had happened and asked the couple to bring their son. Rairu sprinkled some holy water from his kamandala and a miracle happened. The boy woke up as if from the sleep. The couple was very happy. This proves the fact that Rairu had the power to bring back the life of the people who were still meant to live. In the year 1671, after Raghavendra Swamiji completed the purpose of his life, for which he was there on this earth, he entered in a state of Samadhi alive, Sajiva Brindavanastha, at a place called Mantralayam, which is on the banks of Tungabhadra river in the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. And a stone enclosure called Brindavana was built around him. Even then, Raghavendra Swamiji promised his devotees that he will be there for them always and shower his blessings through the Brindavana for 700 years in spiritual form. Miracle took place after 150 years of Rairu's Brindavana Pravesha at around 1820 AD. During that time, India was under British rule. British East India Company wanted to take control of all the places in India, including all the villages. So, an official named Thomas Munro came to Mantralaya to take control over it. The paper belonging to Mutt were present in a place called Nanjangudu and even the pontiff was present in the same place. The Thomas Munro insisted on looking at the papers. The people present told about Rairu's greatness and that Mutt couldn't be taken over and he ridiculed about what people said. But just to test, he wanted to have a look at the Brindavana. He visited Tungabhadra river where he felt a sudden flow of energy within himself. Again he visited the river and felt the same. Before entering the mud, he felt another energy wave and removed his hat, shoes and gave it to his servant. Then in front of Brindavana, he just fell at the feet of it. Then he saw the Brindavana split into half. A light came out and then Rairu in his physical form gave darshana to Thomas Bunro. And Rairu told that the mud cannot be taken over. And then he also gave lot of mantrakshate to Munro, which he told to put some on the head. People outside the Brindavana just saw Munro murmuring. Munro came out and explained the whole incident and people got convinced when they saw the mantrakshate in his hand. This was one of the thousand miracles that happened after Rairu's Brindavana Pravesha. To reach God, we need a Guru who cleanses our hearts and make us eligible for salvation. That's why Raghavendra Swamiji is extolled as Raghavendra Guruve Namo Atyanta Dhyalave. He is the kindest sage one can think of in this entire world. There are lots of stories, miracles, teachings of Rairu. I just told you the few points. If you like the video, please do like, share the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.